Welcome to the Tradition Way Podcast. I'm Brett Shumway. As always, this podcast is part of the Martial Arts Inner Network. Please continue to support the network on our social media pages and on our website at www.mainternetwork.com. And also, we have a new sponsor for the network, the Karate Tournament of Champions, more affectionately known as KTOC to most of us sport karate competitors. The KTOC Nationals is one of the biggest tournaments in New York City and will be happening on November 24th this year. Now, this is an open sport karate tournament, but I want to express to the traditionalists watching that this event has always been one of the most attended open events from competitors that also compete on the AAU, USANKF, and WKF circuits. Uh, it is hosted by Hanchi Rick Diaz and Sue Diaz, and will be uh, happening in Queens, New York. This is one of the best events to attend, especially towards the end of the season, and you can get all the information for the event at www.ktocnationals.com, all one word, that's ktocnationals.com. On this episode, we're going to take a look at the results from the Mediterranean Games that took place on September 20th through the 22nd in Italy, and also the last Continental Championships of the year, the Senior Asian Continental Championships from Hangzhou, China, that occurred at the same time. Let's start with the Mediterranean Games. Now, this event had over 400 athletes from 18 countries, uh, with 18 countries represented. Here are the winners from that event. As we start in the minus 47 kilogram division, the world number two, Emma Fernandez, wins the final match 3-0. The world number one, Leonor Goncalves, takes the final of the minus 54 kilogram division with a 12-2 onslaught in the final. A close final matchup in the minus 61 kilogram division as Victoria Baziuk wins her first gold medal by Senchu. Marta Herrera would ensure Portugal didn't sweep the female cadet Kumade divisions, as she would win the final and the over 61 kilogram division 3 to 2. The minus 52 kilogram division found Ricardo Castro win the final match 3 to 0 for his first gold medal. Newcomer Penagiada Samaras from Greece would top the podium for the minus 57 kilogram division, winning the final match 4 to 1. The minus 63 kilogram division was won by Armando Ruoco, who would, who would squeak out a 1 to nothing victory in the final. The world number two, Almerica Tomasino, would top the minus 70 kilogram division with a 3 to 0 win in the gold medal match. And in the final, all Italian final, Francesco Ferrarini would win over the over 70 kilogram division with a 2 to 0 score. In female Kata division, the Shiteru stylings of Sofia Krukitti would top the division as she was able to defeat the world number two in the semifinals and pull out the final match by 0.2 points. The young men would find world number five, Matteo Freda, win the division as the young Shotokan stylist would have a close matchup in the semis where he would squeak out a victory by 0.2 points, but then it was smooth sailing into the finals as he won that by 0.9 points. In a combined cadet and junior team kata division, Italy would find themselves victorious in both the male and female kata divisions, opting to run Shiteru forms, which is surprising with Italy generally thought of as a strong Shotokan area. In the cadet team Kumite division, Cyprus would prevail over Spain in the female division with a score of two matches to zero. The boys' divisions would see Spain defeat Greece with two matches to one. The juniors would start out with a close final matchup where the world number two, Ludovica Legitimo, would win the minus 48 kilogram division final 1 to 0. Marina Paraskev Palu would win a tight match in the minus 53 kilogram division as she would pull out a 1 to 0 victory to top the podium for the first time. The minus 59 kilogram division would find Maria Luigia Coca win the final matchup 4 to 0. Theus Antonelli would win the minus 66 kilogram, kilogram division in her first attempt as a junior, winning the final 4-2. The over 66 kilogram division found Irene Sanchez win a close fight in the final matchup by a score of 2-1. The boys would start off with Antonio Celitano uh, winning the final of the minus 55 kilogram division 2-0. World number 6, Emmanuel Califano, would top the minus 61 kilogram division, taking the final matchup 5-2. The minus 68 kilogram division saw Ivan Perez easily win the final with a 7-0 score. Dimothinos Kutalarius wins the minus 76 kilogram division final 4 to 1 for his first medal. And in the over 76 kilogram division, saw an exciting matchup where world number 3, Federico Supino, would pull out the win with a 7 to 5 score. The female Cotta division was an all French final with a surprising finish as Luis Capet would tie with the world number 1, Myling Bui, and the judges gave the decision to Capet, who is ranked 36th in the world. I would say that this was quite the upset in this division. 
The young men would have another upset as world number one, Luigi Daruba, would lose the final matchup by 0.2 points to the number 11 ranked Thomas Klemps, whose Shiteru Katas were enough to top the division. In the Team Kumite division, the young ladies saw Spain defeat Cyprus two matches to none, and the men found the same result as Spain would, would sweep the junior Kumite team divisions. The women kicked it off with Emma Coletti dominating the minus 50 kilogram division, winning her fights by a combined score of 17 to 2 on her way to her first gold as an adult. The minus 55 kilogram division saw an all Italian final where world number 11, Viola Lalo, would win a close final 2 to 1. Indira Garcia would, would top the minus 61 kilogram division, winning the final 6 to 0. And an all Croatian final in the minus 68 kilogram division where Sadia Bersarovic would take the gold in the final score of 3-2. to two. The over 68 kilogram division saw a huge upset as Kiraki Kidonaki, the world number 42, would defeat the world number 1 Maria Garcia in a close final matchup where Kidonaki would win 6-5. to five. The men started out with an all-Italian final where Fabrizio Giordano would defeat his countrymen 2-0 to zero to secure the gold. Luca Maresca, the world number 11, gets back on track after two poor perf uh, performances from last events, winning the minus 67 kilogram division final 8 to 1. The minus 75 kilogram division saw Daniel Di Vivo win the final matchup by a score of 6 to 0. World number 12, Matteo Fiore, wins the minus 84 kilogram division, taking the final matchup 2 to 0. And in the over 84 kilogram division, the world number 7, Ivan Kavesic, wins the final by the 8 point spread. The female Kata division saw Raquel Ro Rubio top the division as the Shiteru stylist would win the final where it was a showdown of Chatnara Kusanko, which Raquel would win that by 0.9 points. The Shotokan Katas of Mateo Busada was too much in the men's division as he would dominate every match on his way to winning gold, winning each by at least a half point or more. The team Kata division for the veterans found Italy beating France in both the women's and the men's team divisions. Team Kumite would see Italy defeat France in the women's division two matches to one, and in the men's, Spain defeats Greece three matches to two. Now to the division that makes the Mediterranean games unique, Beach Kata. That is correct, Beach Kata. In this division, competitors compete on the sand using the same scoring criteria as normal Kata division. This is one of the fan favorites at this event. These divisions were dominated by the Italians. World number nine, Teriana D'Onofrio, would win the women's, and world number nine in the men's division, Alesso Giannami, would take the gold. The Asian Karate Federation Championship started off with Golshan Almar Danova taking her first AKF title, winning the final matchup 8 to 0. Thai Huang wins her second AKF title in the minus 55 kilogram division, winning the gold medal matchup 4 to 2. The minus 61 kilogram division saw world number two Li Gong win her first continental title, which is interesting figuring that she's the reigning world champion, but never had an AKF title before. She won the final matchup 4 to 0. Chiok Wong secures her first AKF title as she takes the minus 68 kilogram gold, winning the final matchup 3 to 2. In the over 68 kilogram division, Thai Nguyen wins her first continental title, taking the final matchup by a score of 6 to 0. The men would start off with world number two, Hiromo Hashimoto, win his first AKF title as he took the minus 60 kilogram final, 4 to 0. World number one, Abdel Al Mustafa, wins his fourth AKF title, third, third consecutive, in the minus 67 kilogram division as he wins the final matchup, 7 to 1. The minus 75 kilogram division saw world number three, Nurkanat Ashikanov, repeat as a champion as he took the gold in the medal matchup by a score of 9 to 1. The world number 5, Rikido Shimada, gets a gold to go with his two AKF silvers as he squeaks out the win in the minus 60 or minus 84 kilogram division by Senshu. And in the over 84 kilogram division, world number 5, Salah Abazari, wins the final matchup by the spread of 8 to 0. The female Kata division saw world number 2 and number and number one, go at it in the final where Grace Lau would beat Maho Ono in the final by 0.7 points as she repeats as the AKF champion and further cements her position as the top female kata athlete in the world at this time. The male kata division would be would bring no surprises as Kokuro Nishiyama takes home his third consecutive AKF title. At this point, I would say the only surprise is that he didn't run Shibana no Kusanku at this event. I mean, he has medaled in his last 15 events, 11 of them gold. Him winning is the one constant on the WKF at this time. Team Kata found Japan over Vietnam in the women's Kata division, and the men found Kuwait defeat Vietnam in the final. For Team Kumite, Vietnam defeats China by decision, 
for the women's division, and Japan defeats Kakistan three matches to none for the men's division. So with all that being said, guys, we're getting to that time of year when things are starting to slow down. The AKF Championships was the last individuals event for the year. So the standings are done for the 2024 year for all the veterans divisions. Unless they are representing their country at the World Cup for team divisions, they are done until January. The youth athletes have two more events and nothing is bigger and more exciting than the World Championships coming to Venice next week. I am super excited to see what happens at this event. And we will bring you all the results on the next episode of this podcast. Until then, continue to support our network and like, comment on, and share all the podcasts that we have on the network and mark your calendars for the K-Talk Nationals on November 24th in New York City. Until next time, guys.